throwback Thursday to you today. I am counting down my top 10 favorite movies from 1991. Starting at number 10, Drop Dead Fred. Do you guys remember this one? This girl who's a, like a grown up now is going through some emotional stuff in her adult life and her imaginary friend from childhood shows back up and just starts wreaking havoc on her life. But actually, even though he's wreaking havoc, he's helping her. Number nine, Hot Shots. This comes from my favorite type of movie from the 90s, which is the so stupid they're funny parody of other types of movies, movies. Charlie Sheen at his finest before he went woo woo. It was like a parody movie of Top Gun, basically. Classic, so stupid, it's funny comedy though. Number eight, necessary roughness. I didn't even know when I was a kid that that was a term for a penalty. No, wait, it's unnecessary. <laughs> Unnecessary Roughness is the term for the penalty. Necessary rough Roughness was a play on words of the penalty. Unnecessary Roughness. Yeah, take that, football geeks. Number seven, Silence of the Lambs. This movie is obviously a classic. Academy Award winner, so good. The acting is so good, the writing is so good. It's so dark, it's so creepy, it's so terrifying. I watched it as a kid for some reason. Why did my parents let me watch it? I don't know. Number six, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Every girl who grew up in the 90s loved this movie. Christina Applegate was like so cool. She was a teenager who got stuck left alone with her siblings because their old babysitter died. But I wanted to be Christina Applegate in this movie. I, however, watched Married with Children and did not want to be Christina Applegate there, so I saw the difference. I understood what acting was. Christina Applegate was acting slutty on Married with Children. Number five, Naked Gun Two and a Half, the also funny sequel to Naked Gun One. The Naked Gun movies to me were the epitome of me and my dad watching movies. Like all of the Naked Gun movies remind me of my dad. He thought they were so funny. I thought they were so funny. I think of them and I think of my dad and his stupid sense of humor that I inherited. Number four, the comedy slash super, super, super sad drama, My Girl. How sad was this plot and how deep was it for being a, basically a children's family film? It deals with the loss of a parent, deals with the loss of a best friend at the young age of like eight. It deals with so much death. It was really intense. Number three, the comedy classic, What About Bob? I loved this movie. Bill Murray was so lovable slash annoying and Bob just kept appearing everywhere and everybody loved Bob except for Leo. Leo didn't love Bob. That was his name, I think, Leo. Number two, Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Of course I have Beauty and the Beast on my list. I was a girl growing up in the 90s, come on. And now I'm so excited to see the live action version of it. There better be all of the songs because I want to see Be Our Guest performed by human beings dressed as inanimate objects. And my number one favorite movie from 1991 is Father of the Bride. Oh, Steve Martin is so classic, vintage Steve Martin in this movie. It's such a great movie. I will watch Father of the Bride anytime it's on TV and I will cry every time at the end. It just tugs at my heartstrings, that movie it does. So there are my top 10 favorite movies of 1991. You can go to boxofficemojo.com. Tell me your favorite movies from 91 in the comments below. Subscribe, I post videos Monday through Friday and do Throwback Thursdays every Thursday. <laughs> See you tomorrow.